all this oh, conflict about the Spa Theatre, it's been put up, it's going to be pulled down, it's stopped running, and I hear all sorts of things about, you know, the council actually had been paying somebody to do it. And there we've got something on the best position in Felixstowe, and I just don't understand it. But with me today, I've got Mike Nimney, or Michael Nimney, I should say. Absolutely. And uh, hello, welcome to you, Michael. Hello, uh, young Eric. You, you, How you, are you doing? You are an expert on No, I'm not. I, 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 the definition of expert, I can't remember what it is, but it's something that leaks away. But all I'm trying to say is you know all about <laughs> well, it. Well, I, I so. have been following the, the issues quite closely for probably the last um, eight, nine years. May, may, may I say at this point mm. that Michael or Mike, first, I'm not sure which do you prefer, Michael or Michael? Well, my mother always called me Michael. My wife calls me Michael when it's trouble ahead, <laughs> and I, I, I actually respond to both names. You do, well, I do. Well, Mike, as I, I prefer to call him, that's how I've always known him, um, gets involved with all sorts of community things. He does an awful lot of volunteering and presenting for our television service and the radio service. He's involved. That's just a minor part of his life. He spends all his days rushing around to meetings <laughs> that people don't go to, and he goes and represents us all, and he's involved with everything. So I can't speak highly enough for Mike and his knowledge. So I think we can get down to the roots here about the Spa Theatre. So okay, now tell well, us the basics about Well, the I think what we're, the, the point we're now at was a decision that was made by the, uh, the first cabinet meeting of this, this month. Yes, and they have um, they've brought in yet another consultant. Yes, now, a this, specialist, this, a this property consultant. These consultants have to be paid, presumably. But of course, and I think the the bill for them is somewhere twelve, thirteen thousand. Twelve or thirteen thousand. And they're now going to be paid a similar sum to do it again in a different way. Yes, it would appear. But the the outcome of this process. We, we probably need for uh, the, those like yourselves or those who haven't been in the town very long, just a quick summary of, well, this is of what, what, happen happened. what happened with the spa. Yes, yes. The spa uh, suffered war damage, rebuilt. It's sort of an Art Deco type building. Well, how, how far back does it go? It goes all the way back to uh, the beginning when it was sort of a winter garden. It was a covered area. It had a bandstand. It was the place oh, where entertainment. Where all the entertainment. So it's had a, a, a series of different. And who ran it then? I mean, uh, it was Felix to Urban District. It was the urban so you can see council. that they used to do the programming. It was a part of the offer of the resort. This is basically. before there was a theatre. Uh, yes, they, it became a theatre, and a it theater. was run by the. Um, Initially, the Felix to Urban District Council, yes. and when those were transferred to the Suffolk Coastal District Council, yes. in, what was that, 1976, yes. then the responsibility for the spa transferred to the District Council. Oh, I see. They decided, about 17 years ago, yes. that they weren't up to the job. So what they decided? So what, were, what were they doing with it themselves? Well, well, they were running shows. They were running the end of the pier. It was sort of at that time of the uh, threat, no, the, the, the creation of the cheap package holidays oh, I see, and yes. the British seaside holiday was le sort of leaking away a bit. Yes. So it was um, uh, that time the, the district council decided that they would have a much better usage and outcome yes. if it was a private management of the theatre. Yes. So they contracted it out yes. on the basis of a 10-year uh, management yes. program yes. to a private company yes. and they paid them a fixed fee you know and what, everything you, they made above that they could keep. Do you know what the fee was? Uh, it was a ra it was below £200,000. £200,000? Yeah. Yeah. So in other words they were getting a fair bit of money. That's, uh, yeah, 4, they didn't 000, have to work too hard 4, to make the money. £4,000 a week to yeah. And free premises and free... Well, premises. I think that's, that's what has really worried a number of um, our residents and visitors, yes. really, is how can a building that potentially has so much yes. deliver so little? Yes. In that you have a 90-seater a uh, theatre. No, uh, 900. Sorry, 900. What did I say? You said 90. I decided to divide it by 10. <laughs> 900 seats. Yes, yes. Um, Which isn't a bad-sized theatre. No, but we'll, but we'll come on to that, yes, what yes. the consultants recently said. But 
But it also has, um, I think it's something like a 30 plus cover restaurant. Yes. Actually enjoying the best position. May, may I just come in there? If you said 30 covers. No, 30 tables. Oh, 30 tables. Yes. Well, that's okay because you see, as you know, I was just trying to envisage. Yes, no, well, see, that's 120 covers. Yeah, it is. So you see, to, for a restaurant to pay its way, you've mm. got to have a minimum of 40 covers. So it comes within the restaurant right. is within well within the uh, profitable well, margin. It should be. should be. Yes. And then at the other end of that, you've got a bar, yes. a standalone bar, which perhaps isn't the best designed yes. because it actually obscures what could be a, a continuing sea view. Yes. Um, and you've got a lounge area which yes. would include the restaurant. So, yes. from a point of view of of food and drink yes. provision, yes. you've got the restaurant. Yes. You've got the bar. Yes. And you've got beneath it to cater to the passing yes. uh, tourist and whatever a ice cream parlour. Oh really? No, I've never known there was an ice cream. You parlor. wouldn't. It's not very well advertised. It's not I been really. You know, they made little of it, but has it's, it's always it's been open. Has it? Um, well, I think in in my day it's been. Has it? So yes, has and and they they've done a little bit with it by putting some chairs out, making it more. Yes. Yes. But mind you, it doesn't be out. Show the positive side. So that that would be a season. Bit. Yes. But season show the business. positive side because the council they're not doing it to do it the worst way. They were trying to help and to get the thing launched and to keep it Well, they, 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 they believed, or one would assume, or those who were there at the time believed yes. that by uh, right. privatising its yes. operation and whatever, yes. then it would be yes. a better community yes. Yes. provision. Yes. Yes. So and sadly, it just hasn't happened yes. that way. It's always very easy to be wise after the event, but I'm at sure. the time, they probably thought they were doing the best for the town. Yes, but on that basis, uh, having learnt from the fact that uh, that happened for 10 years and it didn't get the desired result, yes. the real question is why six or seven years ago they did it again? Well, they just, we're, we're, repeated, we're, they it. just repeated the process. Oh. Now, the, 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 those who had been managing it, uh, an outfit called Clear Channel, yes. who had pretty much been using it to sort of showcase their own their own acts, the makeover acts, you oh, know, the yes. sort of pop groups and that sort of thing. Oh, yes, yes. They decided that they weren't interested, so they didn't rebid. Oh, I see. So it was a complete set of group, uh, a new group of bodies yes, bid, yes. including one from the community. Really? Which was actually, um, from what I saw of it, a credible bid. It mm. was using all the expertise we have in our town, and if we're looking at, we have people who work in the film industry, in the theatre yes, industry, yes. we put on very good, very good amateur yes, productions. Yes, so there's yes. a, a depth and breadth yes. here, a lot of which was involved in yes. that bid. Yes. And what I found astounding, they were uh, rejected on the basis that they didn't have three years accounts. Oh dear, that's now, the reason they were but, rejected. Yes, but a, a, a start-up company yeah. can't have three years accounts, no, can it? I mean, how bizarre was that? Yeah, but it, but it, what it did, it actually had them, you know, like the Grand National falling yeah, at the first yeah, hurdle. So yeah. they couldn't even be heard. Yes. Oh, and I found that, yeah. that, that that wasn't in our interest. Yeah, but that, that probably, let's be fair. But, but that was the contract let's, terms, let's be, whatever. Let's be fair to the council. Yeah. They've got to have, their, they've got regulations laid down. They've got to tick the boxes. Mm. And if it's said that the person's got to have three years accounts, the, the real secret is they've got to find the answer to that. That's but, what they've got to do. They've the got to work around, look at a trust. Because a, a theatre trust was discussed that long yes, back. Yes. Uh, and we've never come to you that. You see, on the positive side, yes. I've had some very happy memories of the spa. Oh, I've been to some wonderful has. school uh, shows, yeah. dramatic society shows. Mm. I've seen some very good uh, single-handed uh, you know, shows. Productions. Productions. Yes. I've thoroughly enjoyed what I've yes. been to. I haven't been a lot, but the ones I've been to, I've thought, well, this is a wonderful facility. Well, it is. It's a super and facility. So tell me, now we've reached a position where presumably these people, even though they were being paid to run it, in effect. Yeah, the, they, the, the, the successful applicant for the yes. second privatised running of the theatre was uh, a, a organisation that runs Chroma Theatre. Very Chroma. successful. Chroma. Oh, Chroma. Oh, Very the, successful. The seaside town up yeah, Absolutely. Oh, I see. And they run so, that. Yeah, they do. Why, Profitably. Why haven't, why haven't they made a success? Well, I think we need to ask them now, because all. they've been sacked, so we could yeah. ask them no. genuinely. Yeah, I to am... say what 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 went what was so different between what the um, borough council and Chroma 
allowed you to do, as to what you weren't allowed to do here. No. Why, why has it, you know, failed to take off? Because they had a 10-year contract, and that was um, terminated at, at six and a bit, seven years. Now, I'm wondering whether this is something to do with the facilities down there. Now, I've been involved with, with theatre and what's it all yes, my life. Have. And the problem lies, I haven't seen a show down there that is using all the standard scenery. You see, the standard right. size scenery, right. and I made one or two inquiries, and I understand that the stage down there won't take all the standard scenery. This Highly is, probable. This is, very why, this is why the only shows they've had down there are sort of a single star coming and doing a, a stand-up a, a stand show. Yeah. Or you've had groups who don't need all the big facilities of, of scenery, full-size scenery. Right. And is that the reason for it? Well, it, it would it would be a contributory one in yes. that um, what the council did before, when it decided to move to um, effective mutual termination of the contract yes. with the current operator, um, I think probably to ensure that, that they were legally justified, perhaps they brought in yet another set of consultants two ladies, yes. who actually produced a, a, a very illuminating report. Yes. And, and the report seemed to highlight a number of things. Their view was that the size of our theatre puts it between two, two stools. It's too big for the smaller productions and not big enough for the top line acts. That's, that was a view they expressed. Yes. They also expressed the view that the funding that had been available to this organization over the last six years, which was was then, yes, yes. were underfunded to the tune of about a million pounds over that period. That was their view. Yes. The, the bit about um, the facilities within, I think they, they would support the view you just expressed. But equally, they, they did a, quite an interesting report on the catering, the disconnect between the, the the kitchens and the serving area, and and the bar and the, and and the actual restaurant offer, okay. uh, when, the when, fact that it was tired. When was this report done? This was done uh, December last, so a year oh, ago. I see. So it was on the basis of that report that what happened? Did they sack the ones? Was it the end of the contract? No, what, they what, they what terminated the contract. They terminated, although it was... They gave notice to terminate, yes. and that was, but uh, was that was allowed. Was that mid-contract, or was that... Yes, mid-contract, no, mid mid so it was terminated mid-contract. Yeah. So the council must have known, because it's got the best interests of the town at heart, let's face it, because it's all made up of local well, people. I, I think the reality... Well, it, it isn't. <laughs> it is, but tell now, me, well, Our no. district council is made up of 55 members. Yes. And uh, I think, what have we got? coming out of Phoenix though, less than a third of those are out of here and the peninsula yes. and within the cabinet we have but two of an eight man cabinet so but, but no, what I'm so, so the out, debate is and, and it's well, always one very point, easy to sort of say this that and the other about the yes. council but you've got to think that those people are working with integrity and mm. they're trying to do the best with the material they've got to hand and the information they have and the information but the information have. is predicated on what what knowledge you have of the thing you're dealing well, with, this is right. and if you've not lived here or gone there or done it, then you yeah. know that your your information is second yes. hand. But what I'm trying to get at is, yes. if they terminated a contract mid-contract, yes, there must have been a reason for doing it. Yes, there it. was, and, and and the reason was this. Yes, the can all councils have statutory obligations to deliver specific services. Yes. In addition to that, over time, some councils have done things that nobody else is doing and they think that's in the interest of the community. Yes, yes. A theatre is not a statutory requirement. No, no, I see what you So mean. therefore, the council, sometime previous to this, went out with a sort of a, a survey of those who bothered to respond yes. as to what particular non-statutory things in the area you lived do you value most? Yes. Which do you value least? Yes. And sadly for the spar, it came on the least bit. I and see. the reason it came on the least bit is this particular survey was conducted over the whole of the geographical area of Suffolk Coastal, yes. which takes you all the way up to Middleton and Yoxford and whatever. Yes. And and very few of those travel down here to theatre, yes. they'd probably go to Lowestoft for theatre. Yes. 
So the theatre has failed over the last 17 years to attract in enough people within the district to keep it viable and interested. And mm -hmm. that's been the failure. Most of our, uh, and the consultants came out with this figure, a lot of our audience comes from Ipswich. It doesn't even come from our own town because we haven't been running the type of shows that attract our own community. Absolutely. Now, that, 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 the product no. has not been the proper product for a long time. Yeah. And maybe the reason for that is, 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 is the staging. The yeah, you could scenery be right. in. And you the could, reason I'm saying we this should is that. because the Woolsey Theatre in Ipswich <laughs> yes. is a great success. I've yes, been there is. a number of times, yeah. always packed solid. You have a job to get seats, and the bar's packed, everything's packed. Yeah. And, and then there's another little theatre, I've never been to it, round behind the town hall. Which one is that? Well, there's, you've got the John Mills Theatre. Is it the John Mills Theatre? And that's sort of down on the Brampton Road. Yeah, that seems to you always yes, get bits pieces oh, going. Is, so if is. Ipswich can support but two theatres... Can I just tell you, the Wolseley did go into failure. Did it really? Oh, and it had did to be re refinanced, resorted. Because, oh, again, the the management and the, and the director of the theatre went off in their own self-interested way oh, and didn't run enough popular shows to have oh, bums on seats and that's oh, exactly what's happened to us. I mean yeah. one thing that came out of the report that I found very interesting, the Regency Theatre in Ipswich, yes. which is supported by the borough. The Regency Theatre, yes. that's a cinema isn't it? No, there's a theatre if you go back up from there, yes. you know where the old town hall is in yes, the Ipswich, the top yes, end. Yes. There's a theatre there. Oh, is, oh, I know the it's one. It's a big one. Yes, yes, big, yes. That went through. Uh, of course, I've been, I went to a pantomime there. Yeah, that's right. You yes. appeared. Oh, I did. You did I magic. Did, I did. Yes, you did, <laughs> Eric. You did. Anyway, um, that went through uh, the similar sort of problems yes. that uh, all theatres go through. Yes. With the management that becomes perhaps tired and a bit up itself. Yes. You know. They had, uh, again, a stack of consultants who came in, advised them what to do. Yeah. They followed that. Yeah. They now, uh, it's still a subsidised theatre, but the, the, the cost per seat is far, far less than it was. One of the identified threats mm. to that theatre within the report for the Regent yes. was if the SPAR was ever to get its act together, that would be the biggest threat to us in the area. Really? Really? They view the SPAR and its opportunity here in Felix yes, yes. As, 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 as being a major threat, threat to them because it's got potential. such such potential and it, it's just on well let's get down to the right. nitty, let's get okay. down to the nitty-gritty right. now we're here we've got the SPA. I think the council has always always been trying to do its best for the town and for the SPA uh -huh. because one's got to view you know people don't but, deliberately but, go out of their way to uh, do something which no, is... No, but boarding it up before your site season starts can't be the best thing well, to do. Yeah, well, Even I, if you just put in a but caretaker. This is, this is where I'm trying to get at. Yeah. So we've reached a position, they've done their best, that they've terminated a contract which everybody agrees was unsatisfactory. It well, it was, wasn't delivering. It wasn't delivering. No. So they terminated, which is obviously a good thing to do. Now, the big issue at this present moment is what is happening now? What is going to happen to the spa? Well, what is the situation? At the, at the That's what we all yeah. want to know. Well, at the cabinet meeting, there had been two bids yes. that had been submitted. By no, so they, they, they put out for bids for the spa? Oh, again. Oh, this, is, this is the second time asking for bids. Please come and take it off our hands and do something with it. I see, yes. The only two bids that were made to them yes. were um, bids from two community groups. And which community groups were there? Uh, one was a sort of theatre dance group, and the other one was fundamentally coming out of the pantomime group that was started by Dennis Lowe that's been running for so, about so 30 odd years. Basically, so that, that, they were both community yes. groups. And so they're basically, one, I'm, I'm, not, I'm being de devil's yes. advocate at the yes. moment, yes. from what you've been telling me, mm. they already are not even in the running because I doubt if they've got three years of council. No, they haven't. So, so oh, actually, the Dennis Law might because they've been running the pantomime. So they, they may oh, be they, they may be constituted as I'm not sure the CIC or yes, charity or whatever. Yes. So, so they may they, they, they may be they credible. Do. But worse than that, yes, the um, the consultants and others and the officers yes. have sat down and without any wider public opinion, yes, as deemed their bids not to be sustainable. Okay. So they were rejected. So in other words, they so they, they end boxes, up with no bids. They found boxes which aren't ticked. So now, what are the proposals well, they're, for they're, the spa? That's what we want yeah. to know. So what you're saying is the boxes that are not ticked 
Yes. What what nobody knows is what boxes failed to be. Well, that's exactly. so it doesn't really help the community. No. What we do need, and I, I mean, you have been in business all your life. Yes. You accept commercial confidentiality, yes. Yes. but there is a point when that should really re relate specifically to money, yes. not to principles, not to what's required. Yes. Yes. That should be in the public domain, yes. Yes. and everybody should be aware of what. What is it we're looking but you see, to have delivered? Unfortunately, in this day and age, we're, we're, we, we have got into this situation. There's no transparency. Uh, uh, no, you've got this situation that everybody's got to conform to certain standards. I mean, I rang up my bank, yes. and they wouldn't speak to me unless I remembered a four-figure code. Right. And at my age, I can't remember <laughs> a four-figure code. So no, they wouldn't no. speak to me. They said, you'll have to go into the local branch yeah, and, no. and with identification. So we've reached that bit of nonsense. Well, we, you know we have. They could have asked me personal questions. I've been with the bank for fifty years. That's what you annoys know. you, doesn't it? The fact that you have been a long and loyal. The same principle it. isn't just being applied to the spa. It's across it applies the across the whole yes, thing. That's so true. what I'm trying to get at, because we must do it before. What well, at this present moment? Right. The, the state council, of play the is council, this. The council has done its best. And we're no criticism of the council. Right. The council. They, they tried to, according the, to the. According to the politics at the moment yeah. and conforming to their requirements. Okay, what we've got at the cabinet meeting yes. were five options. Yes. Within the scheme. Yes. And as you say, they they have been confined on the first round yes. of this by yes. by the contract yes. uh, rules that they had to apply. We were. It was indicated that the second round. Yes. The council would be at liberty to assist community groups yes. to put forward better schemes good, so we, yes. but did it happen because they've been rejected I see yes. I mean have they assisted them in the degree that it would be rejected surely somebody at some point yes, is, if there was the on tick box or boxes yes. where what help what were they so what is so what know, what what's happened now is that they are now going to pay this uh, <laughs> this consultant yes. yet another 12 13000 pounds yes. to do another series of ringing up friends Hey Jim, you interested in this place here on the East Coast? Ish. So they are supposedly remarketing. So what again, is the remit? But what with, is the remit? But, well, the apparently it, it is not necessarily a theatre. It's virtually. I mean, some of the the members seem to view, view it was anything can go for the site, including demolition, really? and leave it really? leave it as a part of the garden. Oh, I see. So, in other so words, that's quite fearful, really. That would be a bit fearful, wouldn't it? Now, what I have heard so is... So we've got, we don't know anything now until we get this next report. This well, what we do question. know is that the two groups who were the only ones who made a bid previously, yes. I understand they're combining their efforts... Oh, I see. And making to, ...to make a, a joint, joint bid. Oh, I see. But what so I bid, really want... aren't closed yet, then, in Bit. They haven't even started. They haven't even started. No, because so, uh, uh, once this, this, is, this, once is, this consultant has issued his report, presumably. No, they've already got that. So they're now in the next. They've just been authorised to spend this further money with the consultant yes. to start another sort of role of is anybody interested? Oh, another. I see. Yes. And so, it, so I was asking for a new series of bids for the staff. Yeah, we're, we're, we're with the, the, the protective parameters that were there, yes. very much loosened yes. to the degree of demolition, yes. which didn't exist before. So if a developer came, I'm looking at the worst possible yes. situation. So if a developer came along and said, well, I'll give you some vast sum of money so we can demolish it and put up a huge block of flats. Is that a possibility? Well, they indicated that that wouldn't be, but sadly you and I know the way the planning law has been going recently. I wouldn't rule but anything. But they indicated I, it's not. I, so would, that, I wouldn't rule anything in or out. Yes, no, but, but on, the, on the face of it, at the present moment, that's ruled out, is it? Well, I'm, I think there was... Did somebody mention a nightclub or something? I'm not sure whether that might, might be a possibility. I'm... It's like a lot of these things, it's sort of not totally clear. Yes. As as what are the five options, but but it, it was to give as wide a brief as possible yes. to the estate agent stroke consultant yes. to go forward to drum up some interest. Now, the time frame I understood for that from the cabinet member responsible was 10 to 12 weeks. They would hope well, to come now. back from that, yes. would hope to come back in front of the cabinet yes. with some series of bids. Now so the local July, this is July or August then? Looks that way. So we're going to miss the complete season. Uh, well you know. that, that's why I'm saying yes, yes. why wasn't it practical yes. to have at least kept the bar and the restaurant yes. running through a summer season. I mean 
coming from the, the, the seaside, yeah, in the cat, yeah, I come yeah. from South Devon, yeah. virtually all of my life, whether it was in Germany, the Middle East, I've always lived yeah. by the beach, oddly, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> your peak time is the, the, sea, is, is is. the season, but now and, and you, and you time, pull your money in. Time is running a bit is short, really? yes. Oh dear. Yes, so what I want you to do is to tell us, at this present moment, yes. what can the man in the street, me, everybody who's viewing, what can we do to help the matter on? Well, I think what we should do as a community television station yes. is find out um, representatives from the the groups that have already, you know, yes. got themselves together yes. and made a bid are now looking to strengthen that bid. Yes. So what we really need to know, and, and I don't know whether they know, and this is the, the big problem, was on what grounds were their previous separate bids rejected on sustainability? What was the basis? Was it was yes. it financing? Was it lack of expertise? Was it personnel? Was it not, not not the ability to maintain the building. What, until they know what, what they were rejected on, just, they can't strengthen their bid. So if there's anybody out there who's got particular expertise in catering, yes. bar management, yeah. property management, show production. Yes. I mean, all of, when you look at the whole business plan needed yes. for a successful, because it's not just a theater, is it? Yes. Oh, it's no. a theater, restaurant, bar, so Ice cream should, should really be franchised out to four different people, all, and, and, all, and, experts, and, and, all I mean, experts in their own. And that's what area. you would do, yeah. wouldn't you? Oh yes, yes. Oh, I mean, because you'd get pri somebody. Private landlord, I would, I would get the do them all up and find the four best people to run each individual one. But this so, is only just my own private. Uh, so you wouldn't be inclined to, to sort of have a building that's been deteriorating and just put it up there and hope somebody might come along. That's the last thing. Well, you, you, you make the least, you want, the, the you least want to, return you want on to it. Make your, maximize your profits, maximize your return, and if you've got to spend a little bit to start with, well, you have to spend a little bit to start with. Now, the bit you mentioned about getting sets of a particular standard size into into the theatre, what sort of cost would it be to do that? Well, how do I, I don't I know. Don't know I don't know. But it could be quite expensive because could it? it means that you've got to be able to raise the scenery, uh, get it in and out. It's got right. the facilities. The big shows that go round and right. a 900 seater is quite adequate for most of the Well, I would shows. have thought so. Uh, but the whole point I want to try and say is, at this present moment, you mentioned that there was a, somebody, a member of the cabinet who's responsible. Yes. Now, is it possible we perhaps get him in and ask his views? Absolutely. So I'm going to ask you to do that because I'm afraid we're running out of oh, time right. now. Oh, are we? Okay. And um, I'm going to say, I hope that's... If I feel as though I know a lot more about the spa now, which I didn't, thanks to Michael, Michael, and um, we'll all look forward to seeing what's going to happen now. In three months' time, there'll be new bids for the spa. Let's see, let's hope that this wonderful facility will continue for the benefit of this lovely town. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.